study a new lesson in Unit 5. And this is lesson 4. This lesson, we've got some vocabulary we need to learn together. Some nouns, this for okay, you see him? I said it's not a noun, it's an adjective, so it's he's hungry. He is hungry. And hungry, it's a Grapes. Grapes. Bread. Bread. Juice. Juice. Chalk. Chalk. Some verbs like that. The verb look. To look at something. What is the past? Loot. We add ed. Loot. Boy. Boy. Boat. Boat. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Rock. Rock. To erase something. The past. Rock. Forget to double the last consonant letter. Right. Think. Think. Past form. Thought. Thought. Draw. 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 See. See. Sit, sit, drink, 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 post. <laughs> Look at this prison. Wow, okay, I'm sorry. I think I got in prison for this photo. Laugh, laugh, laugh. And drew and said 
What else here we have? Um, looked at, thought, drew. Um, what else? So this is all. And lost. Sit again. Made. The last form of make. And the last thing that we saw the last session, if you remember what I did for answer, it's about surprising. Track and tissue. Okay, what well else? The graph about this lesson, we're going to talk about countable and uncountable nouns. Countable means a noun that you can count, like this, you can count, this is like uh, tables, you can count the tables. Uncountable nouns, these are nouns you cannot count. Much example of this. Countable nouns, countable nouns that we can count. Like what? One apple, you can count two apples. And eight, three eggs. So apples and eggs are countable nouns. You can count them. Okay. Here there is a very important note we can use some plus popular nouns, some great. Some eggs, the total number, the, some eggs, some apples, the total number, but you can say there are some apples over there. We use a or a with singular nouns, and remember, a or a means one. One banana, a orange, before a noun starts with a vowel, a cat, before a noun starts with a consonant, and Okay. What about uncountable? Uncountable noun, these are noun that you can't count. Like rice. Can you count the rice? Like uh, water. If I bring some water, can you count them? Or smart. Print. You cannot count the print. They don't have plural form. They don't have S or ES or IS to them. Okay, let's take some examples. Like what? We can use a or any for them. I cannot say a milk or a water or a bread or juice. This is incorrect. We don't use a or any for uncountable nouns. <clears throat> but we can use some for them. Can you see? Some milk. I drank some. Some tea. I need some tea. Some bread. I ate some bread. Some water, so I can only use the word some with countable nouns and uncountable nouns. We don't use s or es, like I cannot say waters or mats or keys or beds. It's angry. We don't use the plural forms with them. Can you see? If I write waters like this, this is incorrect. It's water. Or I can use some, some water. This is it. Okay, and this is the last part of that. Listen, I need milk to drink. Can I say I need a milk? I need two milk. Can I count? Milk countable or uncountable? Milk uncountable. So we can only use what? Some. I need some milk to drink. Which should number two? My friend, some orange juice two hours ago. This is false. My friend drank, drinks, drinking. Drinks is present simple, drinking is present continuous. So drank is only the form of the past. I ate some and two eggs for breakfast. I ate some banana. Can I use some banana? Some comes to cooler nouns and count. Some bread. I ate some bread. Makes sense. I ate some water. Water. We ate water. Drink water. We drink water. So the only answer is will be great. I ate some water. Look, Ma and you judge Peter. Look, look and look on, look at. Yes, we use the verb phrase look at. Jack is a student. He always solves our problems. He solves all the problems. So he. Unwise, stupid, or wise, 
My sister is a good artist. She is based a wonderful paint costume. My sister is a good artist and I have lost here. This is the post. Can I say Rose? Rose present sentence. Draw is the base form of the verb. Draw. Yes, draw is the past form of the verb. Draw. Okay, so that was the end of our lesson today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and see you in another lesson. Goodbye.